Hey guys, I hope you're good. In this video I'm going to be accompanying a couple of my neighbours on a cruise on the River Thames. Eight narrowboats from the St Pancras Cruising Club have been staying here in West India Dock for a week on their annual Caribbean cruise. I was supposed to have joined them, but unfortunately I couldn't find a mechanic to fix my engine on time. So, instead, I'll be riding back with Chris and Christine, who rescued me on that day that I broke down. After a thorough safety briefing, we're ready to head out of the dock into the lock which will take us out onto the Thames. This is the part of the Thames that we're going to be travelling on today, starting at South Dock in West India Dock. We'll only be on the river for a short time, turning off into Bow Creek. The lock gates are just starting to close behind us. As the water level starts to go down, have a look and see if you can spot the shellfish on the lock walls. Behind those gates, it's the Thames. Yes, Tornado Clipper, we're Woolwich, you're bound for permission, please. Tornado Clipper, Foxtrot Spam. Foxtrot Spam in, thank you. Clipper, London Weekly, yes. London Weekly, yes, Storm Clipper, good morning, sir. That's us away from Trinity Boy Wolf, inward bound to come in service. Clipper, London Weekly, yes, away from Trinity Boy Wolf, uh, inward bound. Traffic information, there are eight narrowboats uh, just departing West India Dock. They are proceeding from West India Dock to Bow Creek on the north side of the channel, escorted by Thames Troll Lambeth. Um, could you call Thames Troll Lambeth uh, for direction? On a VCS, yes, uh, Storm Clipper, that's all copied, sir. Break, uh, Thames Troll Lambeth, Storm Clipper, good morning. Storm Clipper, Thames Troll Lambeth, good morning. Thames Troll Lambeth, Storm Clipper, good morning, sir. We're just away from Trinity Wolf uh, in the bound. I have visual with the narrowboats on the North Shore. Are you happy at five past the narrowboats and yourself? Green to green to proceed in the bound. Yeah, that's absolutely fine if you want to proceed green to green. Thank you very much. Green to green, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. Oh, yeah. This is the life. The water wasn't too choppy, not compared to when I went out with Joe and Michael from Limehouse. Right up ahead of us is the Millennium Dome, and on the right hand side is Golf Range I practice at. I'm not sure if my face is giving it away, but it was absolutely freezing. So you're supposed to drive on the right hand side of a river, but we're only on here for a very short time, maybe half an hour, so we wouldn't have had time to go over to the right and get back safely for our left turn. So we've been given permission to stay over onto the left, and we are being accompanied by a chaperone boat. I think they're from the Port of London Authority. You can just see them up ahead there, that's the Lambeth. You heard them talking on the radio to another boat when we were waiting to come out the lock. Christine was incredible as always, and let me have a go on the tiller. It was fairly easy to steer the boat on the Thames. It was just a bit heavier than on a canal, quite a bit heavier but definitely manageable, something I think I could cope with. This is Canary Wharf, it's London's financial district.
And this boat approaching is a Thames Clipper. It's a London water taxi, used a lot by tourists and commuters alike. The boat that I'm travelling on today actually had a collision with one of those a few years ago. When I did the Thames with Joe and Michael, I was sat down at the front the whole time. I must say, being on the back, I think is a lot worse. There were a few times where I felt like I was going to lose my footing and I felt a little bit queasy. This is the Virginia Key Monument, commemorating everyone who set out from Blackwell Key to Jamestown in Virginia. There's a view of the cable car. I don't rate it much, to be honest. There's not a lot to look at. Once we get past these moored clippers here, we're going to turn left and then we'll be on to Bow Creek. You can just see up ahead the first boats are starting to turn in now. There were a couple of kayakers wanting to get into the creek as well, but luckily they gave way and let us go first. You see up on the left hand side there, there's a lighthouse. That is Trinity Wharf and I am reliably informed that inside there there's a piece of music that is continuously playing and will repeat itself once every thousand years. And there was me thinking Stairway to Heaven was too long. So that's us now onto Bow Creek. We've survived the Thames. We are going to stay on here and this will end up at Bow Locks, which we are going to go through and then join the Limehouse Cup. Here we get another view of the Millennium Dome. Having another little go on the tiller, at this point I could not feel my hands or my feet. We had snow predicted for that afternoon, but luckily that didn't materialise. What I found so fascinating about East London when I first moved in 2008 was that so much of it is still industrial and hasn't been gentrified yet. And here, thanks to the angles of the river, we get another view of Canary Wharf. We're just coming up now to Cody Dock. I featured this in a video back in the summer, and the video was about the Bowback Rivers, of which Bow Creek is one. And another one is the river where I keep my boat. You really, really, really should watch that video because it's the most difficult video I've ever had to film and I think that it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. 
It was a bit hit and miss as to whether we were going to be able to come this way as there had been an oil spill earlier in the week in the creek. You can just spot bowlocks there in the distance. Something unique about bowlocks is that at the high tide you can open both sets of gates on the lock at the same time to allow boats to drive straight through. There's only a window of maybe five or ten minutes but we have timed it perfectly so we should be able to do that. After a lot of confusion and faffing around, we missed our window of opportunity to go through with the tide, so we had to lock in the conventional way. Once we get through the lock, everybody else is going to turn left because they're heading back to St Pancras via Limehouse. We're going to carry on straight though because we're heading back to our moorings at Three Mills. Looks like Nat still has herpes. Someone really should tell her that you can get cream for that. Is the shed boat. Apparently the couple that own it, they paddle it along the cut. That's pretty cool. We're on the last part of our journey now and I am glad to report that we made it back to the moorings without any incident or catastrophe. Wow, 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 wow. That was incredible. Oh, fingers and toes crossed that I can join them next year on my boat. However, I'm not really sold on this winter cruising malarkey. Oh, oh. Right, I'm gonna go off in search of something hot to eat. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel, then make sure that you do so. Okay, see you all again very, very soon. Bye.